What is good YouTube? It is your boy Shrippy Millie back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the Easy Cop Bob. I'm just going to show you guys the general layout, show you guys how to set up um, everything, your proxies, your tags, and your profiles with Easy Cop Bob. But before we even get started, man, make sure you guys like and subscribe, turn on post notifications. We almost at 5k subscribers, guys. Remember, at 5k subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. So make sure you subscribe right now. But onto the bot, guys. Easy Cop Bot is one of the most simplest and efficient foot sight bots there is on the market. I just received this bot about a couple days ago on December 4th. Today is December 8th. So I got this bot four days ago and I received it December 4th, late at night. And you guys already know December 5th is 350 uh, bread Yeezys drop. And I was able to successfully check out a pair using an easy cop bot because this bot is just so good and so easy to use. It's one of my go-to foot sight bots from now on. So enough talking onto the bot. As you guys can see, man, up top, you have your tasks, you have your profiles, your proxies, and the cop section. Your cop section lets you know what shoes you uh, checked out, what size, and what proxies you use. I actually like that they have that because um, I use a whole bunch of different proxies when I uh, run my tags. So to let me know what proxies are working, what proxies are actually successfully checking out for me, um, that's a very good feature that they got right there. So I'm pretty, I'm glad that they got that because most bots don't let you know what proxies checked out. Um, which, what proxies checked out the street for you so or item so you got tasks profiles proxies and cops so we're going to start off right on, on the task page so on the task page you got your uh foot sites listed up top so you got your foot locker your foot action your champ sports your east bay your kids foot locker and your foot locker canada um but when you go down here to create tasks this is where you select your foot sites to what task you want to select, uh, what task you want to run for. So for the example, we're going to use foot locker. For your profile, you select what profiles you want the task to run. So I'm just going to select this one. This is where you will enter the SKU. Um, if you guys don't know where to get the SKU at, you just go to any foot site. Just let's see, for example, we're going to go to footlocker.com. Uh, we're gonna go to men's basketball. All right, so we're gonna take the Jordan Nines. Jordan Nines, the skew is gonna be these numbers right here. So it is zero nine, this zero one nine one four zero FL. That's gonna be a skew that you will enter. So if we was running for the Jordan Nines, we will go to the box. And I'm gonna enter that skew, copy and paste that skew right there. Bam. And then for size, most people like to run for specific sizes. You know, some sizes make more profit than others. But for me, if it's a, if it's like a, every size has decent uh, profit, I will run random. I feel like random is the best option to choose because the bot, when you use random, the bot, you, the bot you know, selects the first available size it sees to check out. So when it's on random, the bot will check out any size for you. Um, so that's like, that's pretty much my go-to option because I feel like I receive more success. I have a better success rate when I use random instead of when I uh, select specific sizes. So I just use random. Um, for your proxy list, uh, you can either use your local IP, which you can only run a certain amount of tasks when you run a local IP, probably like one or three tasks, or you know you select one of the proxies that you created. Um, so I'm gonna select Leaf Resis, uh, those is one of the proxies uh, companies that I use. Select the amount of tasks you wanna use. So we're gonna use 10 for the example. And for schedule, you will only use schedule if you're not phys if you won't be physically at your computer during the time of the drop. So say Foot Locker drop a pair of Yeezys at seven o'clock in the morning, but you had to be at school at six thirty. Um, you just schedule the bot to run 
uh, to start all of your tasks automatically at seven o'clock. So you don't even have to be there physically to check out any pairs. So you just select the date, you select the month. So let's see, this is December uh, 8th, 2020. And for the time, we're gonna put seven o'clock a.m. 7 o'clock a.m. and then we're just gonna create those tasks boom and it's that simple so uh oh next we're gonna go to profiles profiles is where you enter your information your billing your shipping you know your email address for your uh checkout confirmations to go to uh so you want to go to create profiles and as you guys can see you, you enter your name your card number email phone number uh your shipping address and your billing address, all that good stuff, you know. But the most important part on this page is right here where it says check out frequency. And I'm glad that they got this part right here because this, this helps out a lot. Um, there's one option that they have is, you know, very, very helpful. They have once per SKU per site. And what that means is say you wanna run 30 tasks on Foot Locker, 30 tasks on Foot Action, and 30 tasks on Shams. Uh, once per SKU per site means that uh, you will only be able to check out one pair of shoes per each site. So you will only be able to check out once on Foot Locker, once on Foot Action, and once on Shams. Um, that is that comes in handy because you guys, if you run it, if you're using the same profile, you already know you're not able to check out more than like two pairs using the same profile on on each foot site because then you will start receiving uh, cancels. Um, so that's pretty much where I like to leave it at either once per skew per site or either once and once means that for that profile it will only check out on one. Uh, one site and then after that it will not check out anymore but if you want to check out as many as you want um, you can select many which is not the best option unless you run in on a site that do not really cancel like Hibbit Sports uh, Hibbit really don't cancel so if you run Hibbit on if you run many on Hibbit you should be good but if you run it for your foot sites like foot action, foot locker, champs kids for locker you want to either use once per screw per site or either once so we're going to use once per screw per site and then you know you just create that on to proxies proxies is you know, you know it's, it's just simple it's where you enter your proxies so you would go down here to create list and say you want to use you want to say resis Resi proxies. And if you're gonna say leaf resi proxies, and then you just uh, copy and paste your proxies in this uh, area down below here. We're just gonna put 1.1.1. Let's create a little something like that. Press create. And as you guys can see, Proxies will proxies will pop up here if it was a you know a legitimate uh, you know set of proxies um, to delete your proxies. If I want to delete uh, certain proxies, you know you click on it and click delete list. Uh, you want to add proxies to a certain list. So if I want to add proxies to the certain the current amount of proxies that I already got, I would do that. Enter it there and press add. Um, clear proxies it will delete all your proxies you don't want to do that um, and then uh, like I said once again the cop section is going to log all of your checkouts um, I like that they actually keep your all of your checkouts there even over time because I checked out this shoe on December 4th and it's still there I know with certain bots um, the cop section, the checkout section, it normally disappears after 24 to 48 hours. So I'm glad that they still got it there. Um, I mean, it's always gonna be in your Discord if you uh, set up your cop section to your Discord, which we're gonna go over uh, right now. So in over here on settings, you can actually set up your Discord webhook. Web so every time you check out, it will send a notification to your Discord webhook. You know, you can either select what type of sound you want um, when they uh, check out. So for example, we're gonna, we're gonna go over here 
to uh, let me see. We're gonna select, we're gonna select this. So anytime I check out, it will play this right here. So anytime I check out, it will play that song right there. Um, but uh, you know, I don't, I don't really like that. So I like the, I like the basic checkout sound, which is that cash money. That cash money, that's the best checkout sound. Uh, damn, let me meet that real quick. But the checkout, that shikshin, that's the best checkout sound right there. But um, right here is input import cookies which you do not need when using this bot uh using this bot because easy cop is a cookie list bot which means that you do not have to import you do not have to generate you do not have to uh get any type of cookies the cookies are automatically uh gen for you so you don't even have to worry about that which i like a lot so that that's very 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 important and come in handy but that is it for Easy Cop Bot. I mean, the, it's simple. Like, it's in the name of the bot. Easy Cop Bot. Because literally, all you have to do is set up your task and click start. Once you click start, it's going to do its magic. That's all you have to do. This bot is wonderful. Also, another thing that I missed um, is that before they did have a capture solver button right there where you will, uh, you know, click on it so you can solve your captures. But now, after the update update that they made, um, the captures automatically pop up for you to solve. Um, so you don't even have to worry about you know entering, no uh, you know no you don't have to worry about no harvester or nothing that, for that uh, for captures. So that's automatically gonna be done for you, and all you have to do is wait for them to pop up, and then you just solve them, and it's simple as that. But guys, that's the end of this Easy Cop Bot setup tutorial. Uh, if you guys want to see live cops um, with me using this bot, just comment that down below in the comment section. And yeah, that's pretty much it.